Welcome back to this week's Friday News. I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Keegan. And this week, we're going to be highlighting Austin McNamara for his football success. So I'm Austin McNamara, kicker punter, senior here at Highland. Yeah, so the Polynesian Bowl is a uh, bowl game where 100 of the best high school athletes in the country uh, come and compete for a week in Hawaii. And um, we get a bunch of cool stuff um, as well as a part of that. And um, we get to kind of compete on a stage, learn about football and culture of Hawaii, um, as well as football in general. And we get to play in a game on CBS on Saturday. Um, that'll be broadcasted live on CBS. And um, it's kind of a cool, exciting thing that um, not a lot of high school athletes get to do. So I'm really excited for that. So. Yeah, so I went to a, uh, a camp in South Carolina uh, in July. And I, uh, I tried out, I uh, had a pretty good weekend kicking. Um, I got selected um, by one of my kicking coaches, a national coach that I go to. He selected me to play the Polynesian Bowl with two other specialists, one from uh, Hawaii, he lives in Hawaii, and another one from North Carolina. So I'm excited to go spend the week with them, so. Yeah, so the uh, Polynesian Bowl is all next week, um, or I guess this week. Um, and we get, this game's on Saturday the 19th on CBS. And um, I can't wait, I'm super excited to go there and um, spend the whole week in Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii, so I'm super excited to go there and compete and uh, learn a lot, so. Uh, it's a huge honor, um, I'm super excited. Um, and like I said, there's not a lot of people that get to do this. I'm really fortunate and blessed. Um, you know, hard work pays off, and so that's kind of what I've lived by. And so um, I can't wait to go and uh, compete, meet a lot of new people, a lot of new friends and uh, teammates, and be able to have a good time, so I'm excited. And now, to Aiden's story on the causes of vaping. Officials at middle and high schools across Central Florida and the country are seeing a disturbing new trend. More students are vaping on campus. Friends, Lacey Green here for News. Is it me or was it practically overnight that it went from people smoking cigarettes to sucking on those little tubes that look like ink pens? Let's talk about some emerging health issues. And I know that kind of the hot button issue is vaping, right? Yes, yes it is. It's, um, we've seen a lot more youth use going on, so it's become really uh, a hot topic around the country. Trying to crack down on vaping and asking parents to do their part and talk to their kids about the dangers associated with these pens. Um, it, we have about 50% of our high school students saying that they have tried these electronic vapor products. The e-cigs are still delivering the same carcinogens that are known to cause chronic disease and cancer, and the secondhand vapor is emitting it as well. Then there's the most disturbing part of the study to me. A growing number of middle and high schoolers report having tried e-cigs instead of cigarettes, and the number of teenagers more than double to almost two million. It's time for Car of the Week. And now, to Allison's story. So as you can see here, the first major change is that this section of Desert Ridge Kids would now, go, would now be in the Highland Boundaries. Now this is overall a benefit for Highland students as there are several students who already live in that area and attend Highland with the boundary exemption, and this means they would actually be in the Highland Boundaries. However, there, another change is that this entire section of Highland kids would now, attend, would now be in the boundaries for Gilbert High School. Now while this may seem worrying if you live in that area, the district will be giving, granting automatic boundary exemptions to anyone affected by these changes, in addition to guaranteeing free transportation for the first year these changes are in effect. So not all that much to worry about. As long as you have some sort of transportation, you will likely be able to continue attending Highland. And then one final change is that, as you can see here, this section of Campo would now go to Mesquite. This is mostly due to the fact that Mesquite's student body is very small. And now to Aiden. With entertainment. So here, I'm here to do entertainment news. We're doing the news. Come here, come here, come on. So let's start out with the big boys. We got on Netflix coming out soon, Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's very good, very neat. Uh, and then we got Disney Pixar's The Incredibles 2, but it's 15 years too late. So that's the Netflix stuff. Okay, on to music. Music news. Most of it isn't PG, so I can't say it. But uh, Megan Trainer, Backstreet Boys, they got new albums. That's that's news, I guess. Uh, on to movies. Bunch of new stuff coming out on the movie side. Uh, Glass has already come out. That follows Unbreakable and Split, I believe. M. Night Shalom Shalomalon. I am. And I don't know how to say his name. Uh, and then later, we also got uh, the Lego Movie Part Two. I'm very excited for that. We got that Lego Movie stuff, and a good amount of other movies coming out. So. Go on, check your local theaters, check your local Netflix, check your local music provider. And my name's Aiden, and this was Entertainment.
I can't drop the mic. It's expensive. Well, Hawks, that's it for this week's Friday News. Until the next one.